I'm Andrew Kitchener, I'm the Principal Curator of Vertebrates at the National Museum of Scotland and I've been carrying out research on hybridisation between wildcats and domestic cats for the last 25 years. Well, the biggest threat to the survival of the wildcat today is hybridisation with domestic cats and also hybrid cats. The wildcat population is now so small that eventually it will disappear through genetic introgression from the domestic cat population and soon we'll have none left. One of the problems that we've suffered from in the past in identifying anything is the field guide because the field guide has this perfect picture of the animal and it's all got to look like that but of course there's lots of individual variation going on. Now for any species there will be diagnostic characters and there will be variable characters and so it's recognising what is individual variation and recognising which is diagnostic characters which the, spe which the individual must have in order to identify it as that particular species. And then when you come to hybridisation of course it becomes utterly confusing. One of the key characters are the stripes on the nape of the neck. And if you notice, they're quite broad and it's almost like somebody's got their fingers and gone like that. They also have two shoulder stripes, and if you notice actually one shoulder stripe here is quite prominent. The other one is there, but it's a lot thinner, so there's even some variation within some of these characters. Then we have the dorsal stripe, which runs from the sort of middle of the back right down to the root of the tail. The tail, of course, it traditionally has this um, broad shape with a blunt end with a black tip, and it has these complete rings around it. <clears throat> but in no case do you get this dorsal stripe going onto the tail and joining the rings together. The other thing to look out for, which is, can be harder to see, are the, the stripes on the flanks and on the rump. And you can see the stripes are quite subtle, but they're more or less continuous. Sometimes they break up, but what you don't find is lots of spots. 